So now we've got to the point of releasing the cochineal on Hudson Pear. So you can see in the background my colleagues are busy making a release. One of the first things that you have to determine before you make the release is what the prevailing wind direction is um, on your property. Um, you then look at your weed infestation, your Hudson Pear inv invaded area and you say okay well what is the upwind side of the invaded area and that's where we're going to be uh, making our targeted releases. You then want to select sort of a straight line along that upwind section and you want to make sure that you've got personal protective gear on so you want to make sure you've got closed shoes, you're using the long handled tongs that were provided to you when you collected your material from the facility and you want to start placing your infected cladodes onto um, appropriately selected Hudson Pear plants. What is appropriate? Well, we want to select plants that are healthy, uh, that don't have any predators on them. We're going to be taking infected cladodes and placing them securely in the middle of those healthy plants. For plants that are over a meter in size, we want to release about 10 infected cladodes onto those plants. For plants that are less than a meter, we're looking at about between three and five infected cladodes and we probably want to release on every second plant so that we can get maximum spread along that release line. Uh, we have to, like I said, make sure that there's no predators on those plants. So just keep your eye open for any ants, any spiders or any uh, ladybird beetles that may be potential predators and will feed on the, um, the, the cochineal. And then we have to be patient once we've made that release. We've got to give it a couple of months during summer for that um, cochineal inoculation to get established on those release plants. Um, you know, it could take anywhere between two and three months to get fully established. Uh, if, it's, if the release was made in winter, if we make our releases in the middle of winter, we're looking anywhere between four and six months for the insect to become fully established. Uh, we have to be patient. We cannot rush this process. And you will know once the cochineal has moved off the infected cladodes onto the, the actual release plant itself, you will see new little white um, waxy cushions developing. And those are the females that have settled down and are starting to establish themselves. Uh, the question that often gets asked is, should we be releasing on plants that have flowers or fruits? Well, the answer shortly is, is simply yes. Um, there is no issue. The cochineal will feed on the fruits as well as the actual cladodes or segments, and flowering will have no influence on the success of establishments of the insect. Um, people also want to know how long uh, they have to wait before they start redistributing infected material at their release site. We say, Wait as long as you, you can. Um, once you've got a good inoculum load on the release plants, you can simply start breaking those infected pieces apart and then redistributing in the same way that you made your initial release uh, through your invaded site or at other sites on your property. If you do this, just make sure that you make a record of where you're redistributing the material to so that this can be updated into the database uh, so that we have a good understanding of where the insect is spreading naturally and where it is being moved around by humans.